Oh, what? So what happened? You were digging through your drawer, found your old Pokemon, super pumped, plug it in, and your save file's gone. Ugh. And you don't want to order a battery on eBay. That could take weeks. You want to play this today. So let's look through your pile of games and let's harvest some batteries. So you dig through your drawer and you find a few of your old school games. You definitely had one of the best collections ever grown up. Let's see, which one am I never going to play again? Probably get a clue. So yeah, bust out your trusty old security bit, pop the back off, and let's look for batteries. Bummer. Next best bet. Probably a sports game. Those always save you like progress. Double check that. Jackpot. Bust out your trusty soldering iron. Remove that battery real quick. I like to go from this side first. Let's find it easier to lift up. Pop your soldering iron on there and heat up the metals. Awesome. We're gonna do the same with your Pokemon Gold here. You're gonna remove this one the same way as the other. Just pop your soldering iron on the tabs here. Heat up and pull. And there should be enough solder left on the board for you to install your battery from your sports gym. Follow the little diagram here, plus minus. Printed side is positive. Slide her in and solder her down. Perfect. Give her a little flick. Make sure it's in there real good. Slide her back in the cart. Rad. Let's pop her in. Make sure we're successful. So yeah, start yourself a new game. Blast through all this. Whoa. Whoop, whoop. Now save real fast. Pop your game out, let it sit for a few minutes, and then double check that your save's still there. Amazing! Awesome. A battery from a game you won't play, put into a game you will play. Oh, I was going to show you how to test the batteries with my battery tester, but the battery in my battery tester died. What? Is that? Is that irony?